Hey guys, how you doing? It's Ethan from Olamana Gardens, uh, coming to you today with a tip about how to make sure your bucket siphons are flushing appropriately. Now, one of the most, one of the biggest problems you can run into on your aquaponics system is a failure for your bucket siphon to turn over in a timely manner. Um, <clears throat> if these things fail to turn over, a lot of times what you get are cinder beds that aren't draining completely, which can lead to a lot of problems with your plants and your fish upstream. So, the question is, how do you track how many times your bucket siphon is turning over, and how do you, you know, install a system that alerts you as to whether or not there's a problem? The simplest way to do it uh, is, is what we've got right here, and I'll show you that right now. Alright, this is our barrel siphon counter. It's pretty simple, it's just a mechanical counter with a lever on it, and the lever is tied to a weighted float. Now what does this do? This tells us exactly how many times the barrel is flushed since the last time we reset the counter. As the water comes up, so does the float, which um, releases the tension on the lever. And then as the water flushes, the weight of the float drags the lever down and the counter turns over one more time. <clears throat> so why is this important? Basically what it does is it allows you to come out here and say, are my barrels flushing appropriately. A lot of the times what we have is, uh, you know, we have a problem where we'll come out here and the barrel will be midway through the cycle and so we know, yes, it did flush at some point, but we don't know how many times it's flushed uh, in the past few hours. We've got, we've got virtually no idea. So there could be a problem somewhere, but as long as it's, you know, in the middle of the cycle somewhere, you'll never really know. Uh, what this allows us to do is say, okay, uh, 120 flushes is about average for us over the course of whatever it is, a 12-hour period. Um, so if we come out here again tomorrow and it's at 120, we're no, we know we're okay. But if we come out here tomorrow and it's at 80 or 40 or 2, you know, then we know we've got a big problem and uh, we can move forward from there. And there you have it. One cycle down. We are one cycle further advanced on the counter. Uh, like I said, this allows us to easily keep track of whether or not our barrel siphon is working. Now, guys, if you enjoyed these kind of tips, be sure to check us out on Facebook. And, uh, of course, if you, if you know anybody who could benefit from a tip like this, uh, you know, we really appreciate it if you pass it on to them, too. Uh, have a great day. This has been Ethan from Olamana Gardens.